Hi, welcome to CAP Quantum Academy for Physics. So this is a question from 2010. In this lecture, I'm going to solve problems of previous years. And the question is, the SI units of momentum of inertia is. What is moment of inertia? I is equal to m r squared, where m is the mass and r is the distance. Okay, m is measured in terms of kg and r is measured in terms of meter. So here we have square squared. So answer is second one. The product of the pressure and volume has the same unit as what is pressure? Pressure is equal to pressure p is equal to force per area force per unit area okay which is equal to newton per meter square okay and here they asked us about the product of pressure and volume that is pressure into volume okay pressure into volume is newton per meter square into volume is meter cube so we left with newton meter newton meter Okay, now you just check what is the option. What is the option? Newton meter. Solve it. This is Kelvin, this is Newton, this is Newton meter. Work is Newton meter. Okay, so option is third one. And the dimensions of the quantities in one of the following pairs are same. So the question is the dimensions of the two quantities are same. And what is the pair? Uh, what is the answer? Torque, angular, angular momentum. You just go through all the previous lectures. Okay. There you will find out the formulas or the expressions for all these physical quantities. Okay. Did you solve this? Option 1 is correct. Tar. And coming to the next question. Coming to the next question. Question from 2011. If the force F, velocity and time T are taken as fundamental quantities, find the dimensional formula for energy. Okay. We have given the force velocity and time are as fundamental quantities okay now we have to derive the dimensional formula for energy here energy is directly proportional to f power a and velocity v power b and time t power c see here we are going to find the dimensional formula for energy okay and what is the dimensional formula, actual dimensional formula for energy? If energy is equal to half mv square or energy is equal to mgh. Okay, what is the dimensional formula for energy? We have we have derived in our previous lecture it as m1 l square t power minus 2. Okay, this is equation 1, equation you just substitute equation 2 in equation 1 m1 l square t power minus 2 okay in place of e i substituted m1 l square t power minus 2 which is equal to f power a what is the dimensional formula for force what is the dimensional formula for force we have m l t power minus 2 m l t power minus 2 you just substitute here m l t power minus 2 all power a into what is the dimensional formula for velocity we had derived all these dimensional formula in our previous lecture you please go through those lectures dimensional formula for velocity is m naught l t power minus 1 and t dimensional formula for time is t see here we have power b and here power c now see this will be equal to m power a m power a m power 0 
into b will be m power 0 and l power a l power a and l power b here you can add these bases are same power should be added now t power minus 2a into t power minus b plus c okay m1 l square t power minus 2 you see here we have equal to so you can you can equal the powers you can equal the powers a is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 and a plus b equals to 2 so here we have a is equal to 1 you can substitute in this equation 1 plus b equals to 2 from here b is equal to 1 okay you just bring this one towards the right side okay i'm coming to t time t minus 2a minus b plus c is equal to minus 2 okay what is a a is equal to 1 and what is b is equal to 1 plus c equal to minus 2 now c is equal to minus 2 here we have minus 2 if you bring this towards right hand side it will become plus 2 and you have minus 1 you just bring th this towards right hand side plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 get cancelled which is E is equal to 1. C is equal to 1. So, the dimension formula for energy is equal to dimension formula for energy is equal to F power A, V power B, C power sorry, T power C. T power C. So, here we have A as 1 and B as 1 and C is 1. Okay. So, therefore, the dimension formula for energy is F1, V1, T1. Option 4 is correct one. Now we will go for next question. And coming to our next question, we have the two quantities A and B which are related by the relation of A by B is equal to M. Where M is the linear mass density. What is the linear mass density actually? Linear mass density. Linear mass density is given by mass per length the expression for linear mass density is mass per length okay and a is the force what is force equal to mass force is equal to mass into acceleration and we have to find the dimensional formula for b here we have the relation a by b is equal to m here we have to find b so you just bring this towards us right hand side and m towards left hand side therefore b is equal to a by m okay now before that we have to find out the dimensional formula for linear mass density and force i did i did this in uh, in my previous lectures you just please go through them and here the dimensional formula for linear mass density is mass m power 1 Power length is sorry this is m power 1 and length is l power minus 1 here we have mass per length so m power 1 l power minus 1 l power minus 1 if you bring this length to the numerator to numerator okay so m is the mass linear mass density and the dimension formula is m l power minus 1 and coming to force what is the dimension formula for force m power 1 l power 1 t power 2 you just substitute in this equation b is equal to what is a a what is a we have a is force which is equal to m1 l1 t power 2 and what is m linear mass density m1 l power minus 2 so b is equal to m power 0 and the l power if you bring this to numerator we have L power 1, L power 2 is L power 3 and T power 2. M power 0, L power 3 and T power 2. Okay, this is the dimension formula for B. Okay, now, now we will solve one, one by one. Dimension formula for latent heat. 
flattened sheet you just go through my previous lectures here too okay you just check this one i have a doubt here this will be l power minus 1 this is l power minus 1 right m power 1 l power minus 1 so here you will get l power 2 okay and what is latent heat latent is denoted with the l i which is which is equal to heat per mass see my throat is not good you just please ignore that okay heat per mass and heat is nothing but heat energy heat energy the Ramsey formula for heat energy is m1 l2 t power minus 2 m1 l2 t power minus 2 and mass is measured and denoted with capital M therefore the Ramsey formula for latent heat is m1 m1 so cancel you left with m power 0 l2 t power minus 2 okay so here I did a mistake somewhere you just please check what is the dimension formula for force it is minus 2 you just please correct it it is minus 2 minus 2 okay okay so you just uh, compare these two equations B is uh, same as that of the latent heat so the option is A we just uh, check with pressure work and also for momentum I had given the dimension formulas for pressure work and momentum in my previous lectures you just compare those dimensional formulas with the dimensional formula of B okay